although we're excited about the machine, our real coup de grace in the humanic business is the next machine, the 2850. The 2850 represents probably the most advanced achievement in VTR design to date for the consumer market. This machine, as we've been told by engineers for some time, was beyond anyone's capability of design. The features of the wrap of the pneumatic technological design precluded the kind of features that we found in this machine. Despite those uh, admonitions saying that we could never really have a great editing pneumatic recorder, we in fact have designed one here. In fact, gone beyond that. This machine features all the editing kinds of characteristics that we see in a UV340 and uh, in the 2850 that I've just, uh, the 8650 that I've just shown you, but it does in fact more than that. It has capstan servo, it's flying a race head, it is a vertical interval editor in both insert and add modes. But in addition to that, we are supplying this machine with a AB roll tape-to-tape -tape edit feature that has simply not been introduced before and certainly not at this dollar level. The machine has two remote controls. This small remote control is an editing remote control for that customer that simply wants to do remote edits for insert and add. For the customer that would like to do tape-to-tape -tape editing between two 2850s, we have the automatic edited control unit. This is the RM400. With the RM400, the customer may go into slow motion, pick his edit spot, put the machine in edit mode. The 2850 will automatically rewind and queue up. After doing that on the slave unit, they can do that on a master unit. The master unit will also rewind and queue up. The display in time will be displayed digitally, electronic digit, digit displayer is, is right here. When the customer then puts the machine in edit mode, both 2850s will automatically go into uh, play mode and automatically make the record insert on the slave unit and also make the exit on the slave unit. The device has been shown both in Canada and in Miami at a show that we had recently. In all the shows that we've had for this device, and although we've only had two devices really to show, we have had not one breakdown, despite the fact that this is an extraordinarily sophisticated machine with all the kinds of features that you would want on any high quality production type editor. This machine, because it is of a professional quality, will probably be available on a limited basis through uh, specialized pneumatic type dealers. The device itself will sell for $6,000 and the editor, the automatic editing control unit, the 400, will sell for approximately $1,000. So that for the customer that wants to do simple edits, it will cost them $6,000. For those who want to do tape-to-tape -tape edits, it will probably cost them around $13,000. The specifications of these machines have not been released, but I can tell you that they are the highest that we've ever achieved on Umatic in terms of signal to noise ratio and bandwidth and horizontal resolution. And I think that when you see the product that comes out of this machine, that you'll agree with me that this is in fact a phenomenal device and way ahead of its time. This editing feature in terms of AB roll kinds of things have been made available before. But I want to remind you that never for $1,000 and never plugged into two devices automatically without modification at the cost of these machines. So for a $13,000 investment, we are able to provide what would a customer would normally expect for the edit control alone.